So this is my four step master plan about how to prepare for A-level physics. So my name is Lewis Matheson from Physics Online. You might well be familiar with my GCSE videos. I also have videos for A-level physics and extra resources, which you might find really useful as you go into your A-level course. Now the first step in my master plan, step number one, is just to rest. You have had probably the hardest set of exams you've ever completed in your life. You've been working really intensely and there's a lot of pressure and stress as you actually go into those exams. So it is important that you take this time to rest and recover. You deserve it, you've been working hard. And when you go back into school in year 12, the work's just gonna hit you like a ton of bricks. So make sure that you do spend time over the summer, maybe with your friends, being active and just having that bit of a break from work. Step two is something which I think you might want to consider so that when you go into school in September or whenever you start your A-level course, it just means that you're a little bit more prepared. Now you don't have to do this, but it's something I would recommend that you do. What you need to do is just have a bit of familiarity with the course that you're going to be starting. Now I've made some videos about this. Uh, this is my website, A-Level Physics Online. And there's a bit at the top where it says intro to A-Level. And what I do here, uh, I've got these videos that I made the other year. And basically I explain a little bit about the course structure and how A-Level Physics is different to the GCSE course that you've just done. It's not just different in terms of the physics content, but rather than having lots of little bits of easy homework, uh, you're effectively kind of spoon fed lots of information at GCSE. At A-level, you get a lot more lessons on that work. You might have different teachers uh, teaching the same course. There are also going to be free periods where you have to do some independent work and it is quite a step up compared to what you've been used to. Now on this uh, page here, this introduction to A-level, there's a video where I explain a bit about the course. And also, when you're going to be doing one of these uh, topics at school, it's worth having a look at this because I've got some information there where I have links back to GCSE and what you've currently already studied. I've got uh, the new topics wh which might be coming up. And then I've got a video where I basically recap some of the knowledge that you currently know. And also, um, I, I suppose I go on about how this is going to be developed as you go into A-level physics. So this might be useful in the summer holidays to get a bit of an idea about what you might be learning. But it's also going to be useful throughout the course as you start these new subject areas. So that is under the intro to A-level on my website. Now the other thing that you might have seen on this page was um, underneath it, there's something called the daily workout. And that's step three. What I think you could be looking at, and again, this isn't essential, but I know if you do this work over the summer holidays, you'll have a much easier start in year 12. This is the daily workout. Um, and basically, if you click on discover more, you'll find a bit about this workbook that I've put together. Uh, this is the physical book here. Uh, and what I have are questions that cover sort of July, August, September, and October. And these are questions that you can have a go at and it'll only take you about five minutes a day. So step three is to have a look at this and then you can download a sample chapter. That's all of the questions and all of the answers for July. And a lot of this might be revision of stuff you've already done at GCSE, but also it's gonna take your knowledge, it's gonna extend it a little bit more. And that means when you start in September in these new classes with new teachers, you've got a good understanding of the basic bits of physics. So step three is to download that sample chapter. And step four, if you want to do this work, is to actually buy a physical copy of the book. So like I said, uh, this book one, it's actually part of a series of books. I've also got uh, book two and book three here, and that covers the whole first year of A-level physics. What I have for every single day is a set of questions for you to have a go at. So it might only take you five minutes, but the idea is that if you do five minutes of work every day, over the whole year, by the end of that year, you're going to be much better and much more confident in your physics. So I've got uh, space in here for you to write your answers. I've got um, solutions at the back, so you can just quickly mark your work. And if there's anything that you're not sure about, what you can do is go to my website. Um, and this is where I have not only work solutions that you can download, but I also have video solutions where I explain each of the answers. So the idea being that if you have this daily workout book, you can work completely independently alongside the work you're doing in school 
And I guarantee that this will make you a lot more happy and a lot more confident with the work. Now, step one for my master plan is essential. You need to make sure that you do have a rest. Step two, having a look at these introduction to A-level physics videos, that's something that I do recommend that you have a look at. And that just means you know what you're coming into in September. And that means hopefully as well, you won't be as worried about the kind of new challenges ahead. Step three, again, is optional, but it's a completely free download to get a, a kind of sample chapter of the book. And step four, buying the daily workout book. Um, they're on Amazon, they're £9.99. And again, there's a link beneath this video to order one of these. Um, I think it's worth doing, it's only a tenner. And I reckon if you did the work in here, you would see the benefits over the rest of the course. Apart from that though, uh, do enjoy the summer holidays. And I hope that when you do start A-level physics, uh, you find it as enjoyable and actually even more enjoyable than GCSE because there's more interesting topics coming up. So until then, have a look at my step four, my four step plan, sorry, and then uh, have a look at the links beneath this video to find everything you need to get started.